Are you getting ready to present at a virtual event, a workshop, a webinar, or maybe just at your next meeting, in Zoom meeting, and you're curious about how you can see the chat when you're sharing your screen? Well, I'm gonna break it down for you. I'm Logan Clements, I'm a freelance event producer, and I have done so many events in Zoom at this point. I have coached a lot of speakers on how to do this based on their setup. And I will caveat, I am using a Mac for this, and I am also gonna show you how to do it on a single screen. Pro tip, if you're doing a lot of these, I would encourage you to get a second monitor. It just gives you more real estate to spread out everything, especially if you have speaker notes. But I also know that sometimes all we have is the laptop or the single desktop in front of us. So I'm gonna show you how you can see both the chat as well as your slides at your next Zoom meeting presentation. Before we jump into it, I do wanna remind you to like, subscribe, turn on that little notification bell so you get notified every single Monday when I drop new videos. I'm also the co-host of the Better Events podcast. You can listen to that wherever you listen to podcasts. And lastly, what's the best way to fuel an entrepreneur but with coffee? And so I will link to my buy me a coffee link if you would like to buy me a virtual coffee and keep me going and producing some of this awesome free content for all of you guys. But without further ado, let's show you how you can see the Zoom chat while presenting slides. All right, so I'm here in Zoom and I am gonna get ready to share my slides. So I, what I put together here is just a sample uh, presentation for you guys. So again, I'm on a Mac, but one of the hacks here is start your presentation. And then I like to hit my little applications window and that lets me jump back to my Zoom. So that's always nice because this is ensuring when I go back to share my PowerPoint, I'm already in presentation mode and you're not seeing my me get into that mode or my notes or anything like that. But the big thing here once you're in Zoom is that you see that little chat icon. I always say it's with the speech bubble. So click that chat icon. Now you'll see it opens to the side of your window, which if I have my, my slides full screen, I'm not gonna see that chat. You'll see this regardless if you're the host, co-host or an attendee, but right up at the top, you're gonna see that little down arrow next to the chat. So click that and what it's gonna do, you'll see this then arrow that points out and it says pop up. That will actually allow you to pop up the chat and you can move it wherever you wanna move it. And so this is one of the features I found speakers kind of forget because you need to do this before you start screen sharing so that it doesn't take over your window. So here we go, we've got the chat. Now let's say I'm gonna go screen share. I wanna see, you can see my, my Microsoft PowerPoint. It's already in presentation mode, which we love. Boom, I'm in presentation mode. And you can see, I can see my little preview of my window up here. Say I don't wanna see that, I can collapse it. I could stay looking at myself if I'd like. And if there were more people in this meeting with me, you'd see a bunch of like nine little three by three squares. And that's gallery view if I really wanted to see all the attendees. But I'm gonna condense it because I don't really need to see that right now. But the big thing's the chat. And you can see now I have the chat up right here and in front of me. And so I can then drag that, I can put in the upper left, lower left, wherever I need. I think I would just say, don't put it down over your controls for advancing your PowerPoint. And the cool part about this then is you're gonna see chats pop up as they do naturally during the meeting. Again, if this is something that's distracting to you, you can hit exit and you won't see it. But the hard part, if you forget to start pop out the chat before you start screen sharing, you're gonna then have to kind of toggle your mouse up over the top and then you'll see the chat and it will pop back out. So one of the things is you will see if you close it out, you will start to see then like little red icons as people put chat messages in. But the cool part I like is I just like to have it open, especially if you are asking for feedback and you want people to say things, it's very important that you can see the chat. And this is also really important for you to pop out that chat if you're doing a more robust production setup because this is a place where myself, like the Zoom producer, or maybe it's your backstage manager, or your event team might try to get your attention. So it's really, really important that you pop that out. If you're someone who has dual monitors, you can leave it popped in. You might be able to have your Zoom on your one monitor and your actual slides on the other. But just one of the biggest mistakes I see some speakers make is they want to interact with people in the chat, but they forget to do that little simple move right before they start their presentation and then they're confused for where it went. And one big thing I will say is it's not, uh, I've seen some speakers sometimes ask, oh, someone put something in the chat so I can see it. And Zoom doesn't have that feature where like if I put a message in the chat, it would just create a little notification for you if you were in screen share mode. So you just see a red dot, another red dot. You know, it's just kind of popping up. It's not necessarily popping the chat out for you like I just showed you. You do have to do that on your own. 
And if you're someone who's doing something in like a green room or something ahead of time, a separate Zoom, you do have to remember to do that in the new Zoom room. Every time you enter the Zoom, you're gonna have to pop out the chat. Zoom doesn't currently have a function where it can remember your preferences like that. So it's just kind of on my mental checklist. If I'm gonna be sharing screen with some slides or something in a Zoom meeting, I always will open my PowerPoint presentation, put it into preview mode, and then tab over to my other application to Zoom, pop out my chat so that when I hit uh, share screen, my chat will remain popped out and I can see it and drag it where I need to. And as always, you are gonna hear me say test, test, and test some more, because everyone's setup is different. I showed you on a Mac, maybe it's slightly different on the PC, but I do encourage if you are gonna present in Zoom, please don't make it the first time you're trying to do what you want to do in front of an audience. You can definitely do it and get away with it, but I found just taking a few minutes, even five, 10 minutes to test what you wanna do in Zoom just makes you look that more polished and professional moving forward. But that's it. That's all I have for you folks. I'm Logan Clements, a freelance event producer, and this has been another installment of my favorite tips and tricks when it comes to Zoom, event production, virtual, hybrid, in-person, as well as running your own business. And as always, I'll be back again in your feeds again next week. Bye, folks.